In this tutorial, I will walk you through the design of a controller for blind deployment according to the level of solar radiation transmitted through the window. We will use Energy Plus for modeling and simulating the building. The Energy Plus model we use is a modified version of the EMS window shape control angle that is included as an example file in your Energy Plus distribution. This model consists of a sing single floor L-shaped building divided into three interior zones. The only window in the building is in the newest in the in the west zone. In preparation for this tutorial, go to the MLEP folder. Copy the folder shading project into the same directory and rename it tutorial. This folder contains all the necessary files to run this example. Now let's go to MLE Plus. You can start MLE Plus front end by typing MLP and pressing enter in the command line. Now let's get started with the tutorial. Go back to the start tab. Select the Energy Plus file in the tutorial folder as shown in the screen. Go ahead and select the Chicago weather file as well. The name will appear on the screen. Now select the control tab. We won't cover system identification in this tutorial. On the control tab, we will select the variables that will be exchanged between Energy Plus and MATLAB. For this, open the variable configuration screen by pressing the variables button. You can load the IDF file selected in the previous tab by selecting the load button. This will display the available inputs and available outputs from Energy Plus. The ones on top are the available inputs to Energy Plus, while the ones on the bottom show the available outputs. You can specify extra outputs as long as they are valid in Energy Plus. In this example, I will select two inputs and four outputs. Add the following inputs by selecting them and clicking the Add button. The first variable defines whether the blinds are completely up or down and corresponds to an actuator. The second one sets the slat angle. This one is a schedule. I can create an alias for the Energy Plus variable. The alias allows the programmer to reference the variables with custom names, avoiding intricate and long names later on. Go ahead and add these aliases exactly as shown on the screen. Now add the following outputs as shown in the video. The first one represents the cosine of the incidence angle of solar rays. The next one represents the sensible cooling rate of the zone. The third one is the temperature of the west zone while well, the last one references the incident solar radiation on the window. Here as well we can create aliases. They will be referenced in the control file through these names. Make sure you add the object name as shown in the video for the west zone. Here as well we will create aliases for the output variables. They will be referenced in the control file through these names. Make sure the aliases match exactly the ones in the video. The order you add the variables does not matter. Now push the right variables.cfg button. This will save the exchange information in an XML file in your current folder. Make sure it gets printed in the command line. Close the variable screen. The variables.cfg file has information about the exchange variables between MATLAB and Energy Plus. Now let's go to the control tab. It allows you to specify or design the control loop for your plan. You can load an empty template that can be modified to meet your needs or you can load an already existing MATLAB file you have previously worked on. Select the load control file and select the control file blend angle located in your tutorial folder. Press the edit control file button. Here you can design your feedback control strategy. The control file has an initialization step that allows you to set up the input at the first step of the simulation. After that, it has a regular mode for the next steps. In the control file, you have to make sure you supply a data structure for the current inputs to Energy Plus, with fields according to the aliases specified in the previous steps. The control file will provide two data structures, with the previous output and input variables. 
Also, it will pass the time and the step number of the call simulation. Finally, you can add a user variable to the front end that can be accessed and modified at every time step. The file contains a simple control which deploys the blinds when the solar radiation incident on the west window exceeds 100 watts per meter square. You can add the user data structure by pressing the update workspace button. It will give you a list of the available workspace variables. We have not loaded the user defined variable so it will give you an error message. Now go to the command line and load the user data.mat file located in the tutorial folder. Update the workspace again. The user data variable should appear in the drop down menu. Select the variable. Finally, once you have set up the control strategy, you can move on to the simulate tab. By pressing the run simulation button, cost simulation will begin. After the program has successfully finished, it will load the available outputs on the screen. You can select variables and plot them on the screen. For example, you can plot the solar radiation incident on the west window or the transmitted solar radiation. You can visualize the building geometry in the building tab. The results can be saved to this workspace by pressing the save buttons as shown on the screen. As opposed to other available software tools for cost simulation, MLE Plus gives you access to the complete debugging capabilities of MATLAB. You can set up breakpoints and stop the simulation at any time to observe the preliminary results. This helps to catch any problems and to track step by step the execution of the program. This way, it speeds up the control design process. At the bottom of the window, you can find buttons to load a control design project from a file save the project and reset the current project data. A project file has extension .prj and contains all essential information for the MLE Plus project. Go ahead and save all the configuration settings in the project you have been working on. Know that this does not save your controller file or your .idf file. They must be included in your project folder. Once you save the project, you can reset the project settings. This will empty all fields in the graphical front end. Note that this will not erase the project files, but only reset the configuration settings in the graphical front end. Finally, load the shading project inside the shading project folder. This will load all settings. You can go ahead and run the call simulation and visualize the results.